Gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, I want you to hear Well, because of that speaker, I don't want to have the reverb, and that's what happens when we play it through the speaker. This is Will Smith saying you can make it. And you can make it is typical Will Smith. It's a song that Mr. Will Smith, formerly the Fresh Prince, makes. It actually is okay. I, now, hold on now. I know that mother don't believe in nobody's God. Not the way he claim it here. Okay, I know he doesn't say too many things. And, you know, listening to his Denzel Washingtons and all those other idiots in Hollywood with their ideas and their renditions of what they... Uh, Lord have mercy. Anyway, anywho, uh, um, I do like the fact that I have seen Bad Boys 4. Okay? And in my opinion, probably the best Bad Boys they'd have made. I'm just telling you like it is. I am keeping it real. That junk is hilarious. It's about time. I mean, they really, really, really had the chemistry this time. So, I just, just, you know, as an artist, I like Will Smith a whole lot. As a person, not so much. Uh, no, I don't know. I'm not talking about no slapping, no Chris Rock or any of that stupid stuff. I still don't believe that to this day. Now, I do believe the that he portrayed it in the anger. I think, oh, that was that was right on the money. Lord have mercy. That was there. I mean, it had me believe in the anger, but I knew better. So I'm not talking about that. That's this. My comments have nothing to do with that. Now, I got to pause y'all just for a second. I got to turn something off. One second. Let me explain something because some of y'all will get it and some of y'all won't get it. Right now, at my place, at my home, at my humble abode, it is, let me click on the camera that will tell me the exact temperature it is outside. Hold on, y'all. I got to get my mouse working. It was asleep. Like my foot fell asleep. It's about 97, 98 degrees outside right now. Yep, about 98 degrees, ladies and gentlemen. 98 degrees. That's a whole lot of degrees. Okay, 98 degrees outside right now. That's the surface temperature. Direct sunlight. It's 90 degrees inside right here. I have the swamp cooler. Hear that wind? I have the swamp cooler going in the background. Ladies and gentlemen, I just turned the swamp cooler on. I just need the air circulating. But I turned the water on, so that made it, the air coming out of there to be cooler. And it is blowing at about 80 degrees, but it's too cold for me. I'm actually chilled right now. I'm actually, normally I would not run it this high and not have it this cold 90 degrees is not cold that's right to you it's not cold but you're not the one who had the temperature adjustment now hold on now it doesn't mean pay attention that i can withstand 90 degrees forever no 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 it's not that it's that my body got used to one temperature so any drastic change in temperatures throws me off because i can't regulate my body temperature like you, your grandmother, your grandfather. So if it was 70 degrees in here, I'd be wearing a jacket because that's too cold for me. With the wind blowing, oh, much, much too cold. But hold on now, make sure you get it. But if I came from outside and it was 110 degrees and I walk into an area where it's 70 degrees, I'm definitely wearing a jacket because I can't adjust to that. That's too great of a temperature variance. So that's my problem. Okay, and I, I usually don't say nothing. I usually just stomach it and deal with the pain because it is painful. It, it's not uncomfortable, it's painful. Yeah, I know, you can't understand it and you never will, so don't worry about it. All right, we got a couple of things to talk about. Now, yeah, let's do that. We're, this video is about the consults with Eon. Y'all don't mind we talking about the consults with Eon? Okay, hold on, gotta, gotta get rid of all this stuff. Get, get, get out of here, go someplace. All right, you two, go someplace. I don't want to talk to you right now either. Whew. Ladies and gentlemen, the consults. At the beginning of each consult, I have a conversation with people. This is the conversation I have at the beginning of each consult. At the beginning of this consult, I'm going to come in and I'm going to say my spiel. I'm going to tell you all the things that are allowed, not allowed, what's going to happen, how it's going to happen, and what's going to take place. 
after that, you're going to come in and you're going to tell me everything that you have a question about, everything that you would like to get answers to, would like to know about, and would like to take care of. I'm going to interrupt you from time to time. I'm not going to interrupt you throughout the whole thing, but I am going to interrupt you because I'm going to need to get clarification on certain things. When I interrupt you and ask a question, remember where you left off at. But my questions, I will need you to answer my questions directly and succinctly and specifically. The reason for this is I am thinking ahead. And because I'm thinking ahead, I am trying to formulate a course of action. So please do not try to explain your answers. If I need an explanation, I will say, could you please explain? Could you please elaborate? Could you please give me more details? However, if I ask you a question and I don't say that, then just answer the question succinctly. Date, name of the person, or whatever the situation is, yes or no. Just that simple. Now, I'm going to be recording this. You're going to get both a video audio recording, where you'll be able to watch the video afterwards, and you're going to get an audio recording. I would strongly suggest you go over this consultation twice so that you will fully grasp the information being discussed. While I am speaking, you'll have to turn your microphone off and mute your mic because I utilize the chat GPT services, the AI services. I don't use them to find information. I use them to prove and back up what I'm talking about. And if I produce any documents, that's what I'll be using. You'll receive a link. Everything will be put into, and I show them the message board that it will be put into where they can communicate with me after the consult to ask questions directly related to the consultation. Directly related to the consultation. They get to ask questions. They do not get to ask questions about anything else but what's related to the consultation. If they do choose to ask other questions, I get to reserve whether or not I'm going to answer, and I do let them know that I'm not able to answer all questions because there are a lot of things going on. I also let them know that nobody else does this. I tell them that the consult will last at least three hours. At the end of my speaking, they'll be able to be unmuted, and then they'll be able to tell me what I missed, what I didn't cover, or other things that they've realized because they were asked to write things down if they have any questions during the time I'm talking, that they wouldn't be allowed to interrupt me while I'm talking because I have a certain pattern of things and how I produce this information and any distractions will cause me to lose track on the angle that we're going at. Then, at the end of the consultation, I give them the links and everything, every place I've shown them the information. I give them a copy of everything, including a copy of the links for the chat GPT. Give them a copy of all documents, and then we end the consult, and I send them a copy of the video. Now, that happens every single consult. Very same conversation if you know it's in debt. And the fact that the consults last for at least three hours, that should tell you. Now, I've had some people talking about, oh, your consults are expensive. Please. No, they're not. For three hours of information that somebody's producing documents, those individuals, I don't need you getting a consult. Don't even come to me. Don't even ask me a question. You don't need this. What you need is to go down to the Salvation Army or Goodwill. Okay, that's where you need to go to because you want a handout. You want somebody to do stuff for you. Ain't, that ain't happening here. Ladies and gentlemen, and the consult is not where I tell you how to sit up there and become an instantaneous millionaire. How I tell you how to become a genius. If you think you're going to pay somebody something to become this or become that overnight, you got something going on that you don't, you don't understand the definition of a consult. So I'm not the guy to come to. Now, this is what I will tell you. The people who do, and we have a lot of people getting consults, and you know what they don't do? They don't follow through. They, they try at the beginning. They just try. And somebody tells them, oh, no, you can't do that, and then they stop. Ladies and gentlemen, nobody ever tells me what I can't do. Okay, you better believe I can do this. That's why I'm doing it. I'm not asking you for your, oh, you think I'm asking for permission. I'm not asking you for permission. This is my right. And they do huffing and puffing. Excuse me. Let me explain something to you. I don't play that huffing and puffing. Now, go get your supervisor. Now, what I'll need is both your names because I'm not like everybody else. I will not only follow, start with following a complaint. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you have a problem with the court? Follow a complaint with the CFPB. You have any financial issues with the court? Follow a complaint with the CFPB. They operate as a clearinghouse corporation. Start 
creating documentation. You've been asking the court for their bond information. That's a financial issue. Ladies and gentlemen, they won't give you the bond information. File a complaint with the CFPB. You file a petition with the court, like I did with three different petitions, and they haven't responded back to me. Oh, yes, you better believe it. The moment they receive that instrument for payment, they are a financial institution. They are not a court. This is a financial issue. Just that simple. They want to start accepting fees and payments when they already have a budget that's already paid for everything. Then they get to be recorded as a creditor. That's a debtor creditor -like relationship. That's pay attention. That's why they gave you an offer and you accepted the offer by offering payment. Pay attention. Well, anyway, CFPB, file a complaint with them. Even if the CFPB said, this, we don't handle this, you, and you have to explain it to them, file the complaint with the CFPB nonetheless because they still have to notify the court. In other words, get somebody else involved. Don't just let it be that. So, ladies and gentlemen, the people who have followed through on the paperwork, um, what we will tell you and we will tell you the truth. Over at SACOM, we've had four people be threatened with eviction. That we're coming after y'all. We don't care what paperwork y'all send in. And we tell the people what they need to do, and they don't do it. Literally, we tell them you need to do this, and they don't do it. But they'll go to somebody else and spend a lot of money when all they had to do was follow through and do exactly what they were told. They didn't even try. That's the problem. People are not following through. They're asking for help. They're asking for advice, and then they're ignoring the advice because... They don't want to do any work. They would rather lose their home. Pay attention. They would rather lose their home, lose their car, than to do some work. Than to do some work. I did one consult with one person. I said two things. First thing I said, I assumed something. And I was joking when I, when I assumed it. And the person let it go. But then later I said something. And I was joking again. And you could tell I was joking. I mean, literally. I'm a clown. I am sarcastic. I tell everybody I'm the most sarcastic person I know. That person got offended. Oh, well. Then I told him, I said, well, if you didn't know, I was just joking. And I, I pointed out the, the sections. Okay. I even pointed out the fact that I used Ebonics and everything. I said, if you couldn't tell that was joking, I am so sorry. And then they just stopped communicating. Whoopee! <laughs> yes. Thank you, Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to cry if you get offended. I'm, I'm, not gonna, I'm not offending anybody. I don't offend anybody on purpose. If I offend you on purpose, then you better believe I'm going to care if you got offended. Because I'm trying to offend you. You better, you better get offended if you, you didn't get offended. Well, I didn't try hard enough. Sorry, I told you it was 90 degrees. We're now 86 degrees. Just that in just those couple of minutes. Okay, the only problem is, again, like I said, that's... The temperature, technically I'm freezing, so I have my back to the wind. Yes, the wind, I designed it so it blows directly on me. This is for those particular days where it gets really, really hot and, and I need the air. Yes, I need the circulation of air. That's what I need. I don't need uh, just the fan blowing. I need the circulation of air. And the air can't just be stale hot air. I need circulation. Well, anyway... The individuals who've had cases dismissed, look, if you're given advice, and I, you heard me say the word advice, if you're given legal advice, financial advice, and I did say legal advice, I would love to have that argument in court. So anybody out there who think they're a judge or something and hear me say I give legal advice and they want to start something, well, let's go ahead. Let's go. But if I give you legal advice, Advice, if I give you financial advice and you take it and you do exactly as you're told, I have not had a person yet come back and tell me it didn't work. Seriously, I do not joke with you to this day. I have people say, well, they said this and they said that. Okay, well, then tell them this. There's a response for every single response they give, just like every response you give, everything you do, they have a response already tailored for you. 
I tell you, I have their playbook. That's why I know. That's why I kill their presumptions at the very beginning so that I direct them. You, you've seen it. Like, like uh, the Spartans and other military commanders. You send them through a narrow corridor so that they don't have any other options. You limit their options as to what they can come back in a response with so that you can tailor your response to theirs. I'm doing this time, pay attention, and time again. This is what I'm doing on a regular basis. Marching them down a corridor so I can pick them off left and right. So, the people who are getting consulted are getting especially now, more than enough information to hold them that I have to tell them, no, don't do those first. You can always do that later. You need to take care of the most important things first. Then at the end, man, you've given me a lot to go on and a lot to go by. Every single one, man, this is a lot of information. Every single one of the consults. It's three hours long. Of course, it's a lot of information. You go and talk to a stupid attorney or go and talk to anybody else out there doing consults and see if you get anything there what I give you in an hour that they will give you in three hours. So what I'm trying to say is the consults have been overwhelming this year. A lot of people have had a lot of issues and I cannot say any one issue stands prominent. I just, many of you are waiting until the last minute. You're waiting until the water starts to boil. Ladies and gentlemen, if you wait till the water starts to boil, you're cooked. Okay, you you made too many things too difficult. You've taken away too many options. When it when it first rears its ugly, 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 ugly head, that's when you bring the problem to my attention. That's where I can tell you, you can anticipate this, you can anticipate that. When that happens, when this happens, when that happens. So what I started doing, one guy he had to file a complaint, a response in court, and another guy had to file an appeal. So I wrote up the documents for them, but I. Tell them what's going to happen is they're going to do this, they're going to do that, and you're going to need to provide a response. So I gave them a response. One person I just spoke to, I told them, now, you're going to have to file an appeal. You're going to have to go back into that case, and you're going to go in by doing a simple reconsideration. Then you're going to appeal these violations. And after you appeal these violations, the appeals court's going to deny you. Then you're going to go to the Supreme Court and the writ of certiorari. The, the Supreme Court is going to deny you. Then you're going to go directly to the United States Supreme Court on the writ of certiorari called the Ricker Feldman and that's the process so giving them a heads up and doing them petitions ahead of time so that they don't have to guess at what's necessary what's needed how to do this how to do that I give them the information in advance give them the documents in advance and tell them this document gets filed now this document gets filed then this document gets filed then like I said I do documents now now of course you have to edit the documents but when you edit the documents, you comport it to fit your situation. And most of the things that are going on, we don't even discuss the documents while the documents are being produced. What I do is I explain what I'm adding to the documents. And over the course of creating the document, I tell them what the document is to be used for. So to save time, because it's a lot of information being given. A lot of information. And that's what the consults are about. The consults are not that junk you guys see on YouTube where somebody claims they give a consult and you go to them and you pay so much money out of your pocket and all you do is talk about one or two subjects. Go and watch my videos, people. Look at all the different subjects that I don't claim to have knowledge of. You guys see it. You can see the proof that I'm showing. I don't claim to have knowledge of it. That's why I use the AI systems to prove that I know what I'm talking about. Okay, let me show you something, if you guys don't mind. We had the Will Smith, but I want to show you guys something. Something I think you all will be interested in, and it has everything to do with the video that I did. Pay attention to this, right, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to download this document. It's the American Journal of Political Science. I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Real World News is on Telegram, and they're putting out a bunch of articles, probably talking about that stupid... Uh, debate. How can you call that junk a debate? It's all a setup, people. It's all a joke. It's all distraction. Don't go for the okie doke. Indigenous sovereignty, common law and natural law. When I speak about common law, individual sovereignty, 
I need you to pay attention. There is a such thing. It has nothing to do with sovereign citizen doctrine or theories or anything like that. That's what they want you to believe. So let me do you a favor. Do your research. You guys are going to get this. I haven't even read this. University of Notre Dame. I haven't even read this. But I'm definitely going to encourage you guys to read it. Especially the non-citizen nationals. I had a guy tell me he's a non-citizen national, but he is from... Pay attention to the word. He's from a different... Well, he's living in a different country right now than the United States. Pay attention to the words. It's called non-citizen national. You don't have to be a United States citizen to be listed as a non-citizen national. You can even do the non-citizen national in your country. They have a policy offering the same thing because passports are under the United Nations. Pay attention, people. It's called the United Nations for a reason. They have the same policies. Pay attention, people. I know a lot of you don't want to pay attention, and I'm so sorry. Shame on you. Pay attention, people. It's called a non-citizen national. So you don't have to be a citizen. Lord have mercy. Okay, so now you have it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, at 21 minutes, we're going to go to 22, and that's going to be it. I'm going to go lay down. Oh, I did finish the documents, all of the documents. I just have to proofread one document, and we we done. So I'm about to go lay down because when I get back up, that's what I'm about to do. Oh, I'm tired. Got that fan blowing on me, too. We're going to drop down to 84 degrees in here. 84 degrees is actually quite comfortable. Hey, y'all take care, and we will talk later. Have a good day, everybody. Arriba Madurchi.